everyone, so on today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a velocity edit on After Effects. Velocity edits are incredibly popular on TikTok, like you can't scroll 10 videos without seeing 5. <laughs> so in this video I've included two methods to do a velocity edit. The first one is paid and the second one is completely free. And just a heads up, yes I am editing a cutscene from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach not only because I love Five Nights at Freddy's but because I didn't know what to edit on there so I was like, hmm, Security Breach, I see it all over TikTok why not use a clip from the game? So don't comment on it and don't bully me for it, okay? Now let's get to the video! So the first thing you want to do is switch on frame blending and double click the little box under it to get the arrow going to the right. Then drag Twixter Pro onto your clip and follow my settings. First you want to change the frame rate. Now I made my frame rate 23.900 as that is what looked best for me but you don't have to specifically do that number. Then under image prep you want to click contrast slash edge enhance and then you go to frame interp, select motion weighted blend and then warping inverse with smart blend. After you've done that, click on the little stopwatch next to speed so we can begin to keyframe it. Now the first keyframe has to be slow, so you want to type in 40 and then click enter. Then go to the very next frame of your clip and make another keyframe. This time type in 330 as this frame has to go fast. I just want to quickly mention that the 330 speed keyframes must be on parts of the song where there's a clap or a bass hit or something like that so it's on beat. After that, you obviously want to make another keyframe, so just go to the next frame, again typing 40 on speed and clicking enter. Then you just repeat this process until the end of your clip. Again, to make sure your clip stays on beat, put the 330 speed keyframes on parts of the song where there's a drum hit, a clap, etc. That is the most important part of making a velocity edit work. And that's it! You're done! You'd think it'd be hard to make a velocity edit, but it's really the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> now to do this for free, it is a little less smooth than if you did it with Twixter, but it still looks pretty good. To do this, you want to right click on your clip, go under time and select freeze frame. Again, make sure you have frame blending on for this. So all you really have to do for this one is every time there's a beat hit or whatever, make a keyframe and drag the time forward, but don't drag it too far ahead, otherwise it'll warp like crazy and no velocity editor wants that. Once you're done making your keyframes in the middle, go right to the end of your clip and make a keyframe, then drag the time forward to about the end of the clip. Once you're done keyframing, you want to select all of your keyframes, right click on your mouse, go under keyframe assistant and select easy ease. And now it's time for the scary bit. Graphing. I'm just playing. It's pretty easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's, it's like blinking. <laughs> Anyways, just copy what I'm doing on screen right now. It's kind of hard to explain, but you basically just want to make a wave shape where the left line is going up and the right line is going down. The reason you want to do your graphs like this when you're making a velocity edit is because that little wave in the middle is where it goes slow and when it's going up and down from left to right, that is when it's going fast. Once you're done with those graphs, you're done. That is how you do a velocity edit on After Effects for free. And that's it. That is how you do a velocity edit on After Effects. As I said, velocity edits are extremely popular right now and they're my favorite kind of edit right now. So I decided to make a tutorial on it and I hope it helped you guys. Anyways, have fun editing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Let me know if you'd like to do more edit tutorials in the future and I will do them because I love editing. It's still my biggest hobby and these videos are fun to make. So just comment if you want me to do more and I'll get to it. Mwah, mwah, mwah.